Hey guys, this is Amanda. Just letting you know. Created something really cool. So what I did right here was I got a plain old shoe box and I cut off the top. And it's a little cute makeup organizer, even though it's kind of poorly well made. So you just technically need some zip ties, some sort of duct tape, um, and scissors. Or maybe some old cardboard or a binder. I just used a binder and I tore off the plastic. Okay, so what I did was brushes, they needed a bigger section than the rest. So I got a binder and I zip tied these two together. And then I just got the plastic off the binder and covered it so it's not noticeable. And so that's cute. This one's not really full, but what I did was do that. And to make it look a little bit better, what you do is you're going to have to cut slit right here and right there or how many over slots you're making. Depends on how big of a shoebox you're making or using. I used my dad's. I don't actually have this big of feet. Well, then at the bottom of these, you're just going to cut them downward like and then you just insert them together and it should go all the way into the bottom perfectly. And then I just got duct tape to make it look a little bit like it's actually better made. You could put zip ties if you wanted to stay straighter. I was uh, tired and I think my dad would yell at me if I used up all of his zip ties. Yeah. And then to kind of give it kind of that chalkboard look, I covered it in duct tape and then I wrote on it with Sharpie. So it kind of covers it up. It makes it look pretty. And I even got um, like two pieces of paper. Or I just got another binder piece. And that's where I put my eyeshadow applicator. So I don't have to dig around for them. Okay, put that right there. So I the top of the shoe box. I had to end up making it more sturdier. So that's why I got these cardboards right there. Get two zip ties and it makes little dividers like so. And you put it up like this. I have a uh, two curling irons showing one slot currently. So you can make however slots you think that will be necessary. And then, so you can just wrap them up and neatly put them on there. And the best thing is since it's got that top, voila. And so another thing I did was I have this mirror. Flips around. It's a pretty cool mirror. Well, I was always tired of it putting it on this base, so it would always fall. So I just got two zip ties, put it on top, and I put it in between the shelves so it has got a sturdy hold. And, yeah. Amazing, right? And then you got your bigger eyeshadows, your brush, all your makeup, deodorant, whatever you need. Put that all back there. And that is a quick organization tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.